Hello, hello. I hope you guys are all doing well today. Um, I wanted to make a quick video today about how to pack for a spring trip for one week in Europe in just your carry-on. Um, I know that's very specific, but I feel like a lot of times people are just going for like a quick trip to Portugal or Greece or Italy um, just for a week and they don't want to pay for extra baggage or they don't want to haul it around. I'm a big like enthusiast of not hauling loads and loads of baggage around. So I just wanted to kind of share with you guys my tips and tricks today on how I pack for a spring week in Europe. Okay, so I'm gonna actually pack my bag probably right now in this video, um, but I did want to kind of like tell you guys how I start off. So I always like make a packing list um, ahead of time and not necessarily like a list like toothbrush, hairbrush, although I do kind of have like a living note in my phone to like always remind me, but what I actually do because I travel so much is I have like a second set of everything that I leave of like travel stuff that I leave in my suitcase that is in my closet. So I do that, but also before I travel, the first thing I do is I make like a list of all of the activities that I'm going to be doing. So, and this goes for any trips. So like I knew when I went to Sweden that I was gonna be dog sledding and in the snow. So I needed to bring winter clothes, obviously, but for this trip, like for example, um, I'm going, there's a workout class that I'm going to, um, there's like a yoga class thing. And then there's also um, like two different sailing slash, slash swimming excursions. Uh, so I wanna make sure that that is included. So I gotta make sure I bring bathing suits, uh, at least one, but I'll probably bring two just because I like having variety. Um, so yes, yeah, so you need to make sure that you like, kind of know what your itinerary is so you can know what to pack for. Like I know I'm not going to be, um, you know, doing any crazy hiking, so I'm not going to be bringing my hiking boots, you know, um, but I do know that I am going to be eating at some Michelin star restaurants. So I am going to pack. I just realized I don't have any heels. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna pack any heels because I don't have any here, um, but I'm gonna pack some nice sandals and then I'm gonna pack my, probably these, um, and then I'll probably wear my Converse uh, because I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking. So I kind of have to gauge like what your activities are. Um, I know that I'm gonna be eating at nicer restaurants because of the itinerary that has been set for me for this trip. Um, as a general rule of thumb, you know, I like to pack, um, all in the same color family. So I will probably be packing all this color and like a burnt orange this trip because that's pretty much all I wear anyways. Um, pretty much my whole closet lives like that. Um, and also like you have to be careful when you're going to places like, um, you know, Spain, Italy, Portugal, because, you know, if you want to go into any churches on your tour, you have to make sure that your knees and shoulders are covered. That's not so much an issue during the spring, but in the summer, you want to make sure you have something that's coverable um, that can cover you. So you have like a little pashmina or something like that. Okay, before I actually get into the physical packing, I'm gonna tell you guys my quick tricks uh, and hacks that I do for packing. So, um, toiletries bags, reusable ones, put less plastic in the world. Um, I have two that I use, I have a little pink one, and then, um, actually I have three, and then like a clear zip toppy one. Um, liquids, obviously go in these. Um, but I don't put all of my makeup in it. So I don't use like a clear bag as like my makeup bag. I have like a separate bag that's cloth for my brushes and powders and stuff. And then I just put the liquids in there and I make sure there's extra room in the cloth makeup bag to then throw everything in there to like eliminate the going back and forth. So that's kind of how I do that. Um, I do love packing a checked bag because I hate taking my liquids out. Um, but if you know, like for this trip, I'm on um, two different legs. Like I'm on two different airline carriers. Um, so I can't check it back because they won't check it through for me. So um, it just kind of depends on how it's going. So make sure, you know, you have your clear baggie. That's number one. I will link the clear bag that I use down in the description. Um, and then, okay, my next hack is to roll. Do not fold. Roll, don't fold. I swear, it is life-changing. Uh, third hack, stuff your shoes with like socks and stuff. If you know, you don't have, um, if you're running low on space, stuff your shoes with things. Uh, I just think it's easier. And also there you go. Um, hack number three, hack number four. I can't remember. Um, packing cubes. 
Packing cubes are your best friend. I do not travel, cannot function without packing cubes, okay? Uh, hack number five, like I said, all the same color. Um, same color scheme, it makes your life easier and then you can kind of mix out and swap stuff. Um, you know, maybe rewear something and be able to apply it somewhere else. Uh, hack number seven, we're on seven now, I think. Um, That's it. I think that's it. <laughs> I have no more hacks. Okay, so let's get into packing. Okay, so first things first, you need a suitcase, obviously. This is the suitcase that I use. It is a uh, Kenneth Cole reaction. I got it off Amazon. It's lasted me pretty well. Um, the big one, the last time I flew, the airlines busted the zipper, so I have to get a new big suitcase which is not fun, but yeah, anyway, so that's what I use for my personal item. I know a lot of people don't like rolling suitcases. I love this one. I mean, I just like a hard suitcase because I don't want anything to get broken. And like, if I do decide that I want to check this, um, like at the gate or something, because they're offering it for free, then I will, like, I don't feel guilty giving this away because it's hard. I'm not scared it's going to get ruined. My personal item, I switch back and forth between a wandered bag um i love my wander bag it's my camera bag like if i'm going on a big photography trip i will 100 percent bring that as my personal item um otherwise i will check that bag and have the um wandered bag be my personal item and then this is the wandered bag is my excuse me my carry-on and then this is my personal item so this is just a um love love book love book <laughs> uh bag but it's actually a, a pretty fab bag it's got a like spot for my ipad a spot for my laptop there's like holders uh, like water bottle holders on the side in there um there's like a little external port thing here that you can plug your uh like external charger into so that you can just plug your phone in from your outside of your bag while you're traveling um got tons of like hidden pockets and stuff it's got a passport pocket um, it's got, and this is my favorite trick, is this thing right here, so it slides onto your suitcase, um, so you don't have to, like, wear it on your back and sweat, because running through airports in Europe is not fun. It's very sweaty. It's a sweaty business, so, yeah. Um, so I can put that on my roller bag and then just zip on through, and you feel all nice and refreshed because you're not, like, lugging this thing around on your back the whole time. Okay, so some other quick things that I live by. Um, packing cubes in general, I have um, these ones that I just leave in my suitcase once I'm home and I'm unpacked. So I have the, like this Helle Hansen in like three different sizes. Um, and then I also have this, I had more of these. I don't know where they went. I got this one on Amazon and this I just bought from Helle Hansen. Um, but yeah, packing cubes, life changing. I also recommend packing a like extra like soft car for bag to put like your dirty clothes in. Um, the other thing that I also keep in my suitcase is this guy right here. Um, I've got two different ones. And this just I keep in my bag at all times. It's just travel sizes of my, um, my face wash, my face cream and my toner that I use and my deodorant. So it's just travel sizes that I always keep in my bag. I used to have, this actually is a mask. I like to travel with a mask too, and it's just a travel size, so I keep it in there. I used to, I had to, um, my hairbrush broke, so I had to take the one out of my travel bag, but I also usually keep a hairbrush in there. Um, and that's usually it. That's like kind of like the essentials that I keep in there. Um, cause I take my toothbrush with me. I used to, I need to get, I ran out of toothpaste on my last trip. I usually have a travel size toothpaste in here too. So yeah. Okay. So the next thing that you want to do is count your outfits out. So I know that I'm going to be gone for seven nights and seven days. So I want to have seven outfits theoretically. Right. And I want to have, actually, I want to have 14 outfits because I want to have a daytime outfit and a nighttime outfit. I know it seems extra, but this is a work trip. So like, you know, and also like, it's nice to change for dinner and be like ready to go. So let's see what I have so far. So these are my tops. I've got two more tops over here that are not folded. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, of these, 
One is definitely an evening top and one of these can be both. So I still need, and then I have seven, eight. So what did I say? I said one can be, one is an evening top and one of theirs is an evening top. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six day tops and two evening tops. Um, but that's okay because then I have two day dresses. So then I'm, I'm good at that point, right? So I don't need any more daytime clothes and so now I just need to pack my nighttime clothes. As far as bottoms go, I usually only pack one pair of jeans um, and then dresses. So dresses are usually my go-to evening wear and then I can also like repurpose them if I need to during the day if something happens. So, but some dresses are not always daytime dresses. This dress can be either, but I'll probably wear it during the day. Um, and this dress too, I like to pair this, actually I wear a shirt underneath this, um, but then I can also wear it like to the beach or something, so I can wear it twice um, as like a cover up for the beach and as a daytime outfit with a little top underneath it um, and my, uh, and my uh, converse. So I'm gonna go find some more clothes and then I will kind of show you guys how I pack. Okay, so it's gonna be kind of chilly when I'm there, so I'm gonna pack um, summer-esque, spring-esque clothing. It's also going to be rainy, which is really unfortunate. Um, but I'm just going to pack a couple of cardigans to go with it. Okay, so this side has my dresses. My, these are like some tops and some bottoms. And then this is all tops here. And you see how this all fits in like so perfectly. This I, purse I will stick here and then that can zip up and that will be that side. And then over here, it's not finished yet, but um, in this packing cube, I've got like undies and my bathing suits. And so that'll go in here just like this. Um, and then I've also got a rolled up pair of jeans. You see there's a little extra room and then I will put um, these shoes in here and then I'll also stick in these shoes also. Um, and then these two shirts are going. And then I got to put in my liquids. A lot of times I will carry my liquids in that bag um, just because it's easier to take out. Um, but then apart from that, that is most of the stuff that will be going in here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of extra room. I'm going to put my makeup in here. Um, if I have this space, I might put my camera in here instead of in my personal item, um, just cause it's easier on my back and like sticking up above the things. Um, but yeah, for the most part, this is going to be finished. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting this side packed. Obviously, you saw my jeans. This is my underwear again. I've like shoved a little extra bra, like a light like bralette essentially. Um, I love this bra. Like I just can't wear it under white shorts. I need to get it one in tan. Um, and then a sports bra. My sandals. See how I like put them flat against the side here. And then these guys, I like interlocked. I found a pair of heels <laughs> um, in case I like need to dress up. Um, but I don't, they only go with like two outfits, so it depends on, I really shouldn't even bring these, but I'm worried about the weather being colder than I would like. So I just want to have these just in case, like I need, I can't wear these at all. Um, can't wear the sandals at all. So, um, then I put a sweater in here. I'm going to cram another sweater in here. Um, and then pretty much that's it. I'm going to leave a little bit of extra room in case there's anything that I find. And then these two tops right here. So this top and this top they're both white and they're both like i don't want them to get super wrinkled they're like nicer tops and i don't want to roll them up so i will lay these like i'll fold them and just kind of lay them flat on top of everything and those will be the last things that i put in so i leave these to the side for now just leave them on the back of my chair my boyfriend's annoyed because <laughs> i'm packing in the living room um but it's easier than packing in my bedroom and then I'll cram, either I'll either wear this tomorrow or I'll cram this in here somewhere. And then I'm only gonna bring one jacket. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of wrap up my packing video by quickly just, I know it was like a bit hectic, <laughs> like that packing. Um, but I wanna go through real quick everything that I sort of pack in my toiletries. Um, so this, I will flip this around and show you guys how I do. 
Okay, so I have a bag of like dry stuff. So like all my brushes, um, stuff like that, hair clips and stuff like that all lives in here. Um, this guy lives in here, this, okay. Um, Band-Aids, never forget Band-Aids. Um, so that all lives in like this study bag. And then my liquid makeup goes in this pink thing, this little pink clear bag. Um, I got this from Kiko. Milano, I love this little guy, and I love Kiko. And then um, I always pack, so my toiletries that I pack. Uh, Brazilian Mum Mum Cream, can't live without it. Kiehl's uh, Facial Toner. I usually use Mario Badescu Toner, but I do like this Kiehl's too. This Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, I swear by this stuff. I, like, this is my life, it's worse. Um, Hairspray, I hate this, but it was just all they had at the shop. Uh, heat protector, I hate this too, but again, it was all they had at the shop. Uh, toothpaste, obviously. This toothpaste is disgusting, actually. Um, it tastes like anise seed. I don't know who thinks it's a good idea to have uh, like Sambuca flavored toothpaste, but they need to be shot. <laughs> um, and then obviously my perfume. I also travel with like a couple of um, like mini perfume samples um, just because I like to just kind of throw those in my purse just in case. Um, and then that's a face mask and these guys, life saving. So I always travel with nail polish remover wipes and then my nail polish that I'm currently wearing. This is all from Kiko. Kiko's got really good stuff. Um, so in case like I chip a nail, um, I can just quickly repaint. And then of course a hairbrush. This, I travel with like four claws. I, cause if I lose or break one, I don't want to do it. Um, and then I also have the Olaplex travel size stuff um, because as much as I love like using stuff that they have at resorts, I only wash my hair like once a week. And so I want it to be nice. Um, and then obviously my contacts, a razor. And then this is, I also have my little mini deodorant. And so all of this, well, not the perfume, but all of this, oh my God, and these little travel wipes will live in this bag and in my suitcase until I'm ready to travel again. So I have like two of all of these. This is going in the trash, but yeah. And the, this will all live in this bag in my suitcase until I travel again. Um, yeah, uh, the main thing I have to never forget is my contacts. And then I also have a little jewelry bag. I need to put some on. Um, and then this guy, oof. It's not a Dyson Airwrap, but it's just, it's a blow dryer. It's like a big blow dryer. It just makes my hair, it's life changing. I love that thing. Um, and yeah. So those are my toiletries that I carry. Um, you can see here, this is my suitcase. Um, and like I said, you can just very much easily, um, the packing cubes, are life altering because so you can just very easily keep things in where they need to go um, and then just kind of pull as you need which is great so keeps everything nice and organized this is my dirty clothes <laughs> that they picked up off the floor for me and then this is some stuff that I just bought shopping and I've laid out because I don't want it to get super wrinkled by staying in my um, bag as far as like my personal item goes in there, I put my camera. I also put my um, ooh, my microphone because in case I record a podcast episode while I'm traveling, which I'm probably going to do this week, actually. Um, I also carry a mini water bottle. Um, I wear my hat on my head when I'm traveling. Um, and then documents. My laptop will go in there. My iPad in case I want to read. Um, a portable charger that I don't think has any charge in it. Um, some pens and such, and then extra face masks and my apartment keys and then my uh, portable hard drive. So essentially I would say I packed 10 shirts and then five bottoms and then three dresses um, and then three, four cardigans slash sweaters which is a lot to pack um and then you know a pair of underwear for every day and then two extra one spare bra and then one bra that I wear on the plane um a sports bra two bathing suits and a notebook 
And I think that pretty much covers everything that I packed. Oh, phone chargers. Can never forget phone chargers um, and all that stuff. Uh, you know, all of your electrical equipment. If I'm just going for a week long trip, I won't pack like my camera charger and stuff usually because um, I'll pack an extra battery instead. So I'll have two batteries and then, you know, when one dies, I replace it with the other. And then I just the, I should just bring my battery charger with me, but then that also means I have to bring a converter and it just becomes really hectic. So that's why I just like the extra battery method a little bit more. So um, I hope this was a helpful video on packing in Europe. Um, I'm going to be attaching a um, packing list for Europe down below in the caption. So make sure you head down there and get your packing list for spring in Europe. Bye.